What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we have a bunch of changes that were made from the beta build of the game that we're going to be seeing day one at launch. And these changes were posted on Reddit, so I'm going to be sharing a bunch of those with you today. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so first up, I realize a lot of this news came out yesterday, and you guys may or may not have already seen this, I was really busy yesterday. And I also want to apologize for my voice. I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit. Definitely have a sore throat, but we're going to push through with this video anyways. So the first big thing in the patch notes here is the big sniper nerf. So I'm just going to kind of skim through it. If you guys want to read more details, I will leave a link to the original Reddit post so you can just read through it yourself. But I am going to skim through and just talk about like the main talking points here. First off, you no longer get a tighter bullet spread as you're transitioning into aiming down sight with a sniper rifle. So now it's either your completely hip fire spread or your fully aimed down sight and there's no in between. Next, they reduced aim assist on the bolt action sniper rifles. They didn't remove it completely, but they reduced it and that's for aiming down sight. But when you're not aiming down sight, they did completely remove aim assist on the sniper rifles, which I think is a good change. I feel like you shouldn't get aim assist until you're fully aimed down sight with the sniper rifles. After that, they reduced the bonus that Quick Draw gives you on snipers, and I think this was actually implemented in the last couple days of the beta, so I think this is something that they just threw in the patch notes that they've already done, but I could be wrong on that, we'll have to see at launch. And then they also updated snipers to have more flinch when getting shot. Those are the main changes that were made, like I said, there's a few other minor things, but those are the ones that really stand out and are going to make a huge difference. Next up, we got something that the community definitely was asking for, and that is a shotgun buff. So with the shotguns, they've increased the consistency, which makes me think that maybe they've gone to more of a Black Ops 3 type system where they have a base damage and then each pellet on top of that base damage will do a little bit more damage. I don't really know though, we'll have to wait for the full stats on that. But on top of that, they also increase the damage range for the shotguns. So I'm definitely excited to give these a try and I'm hoping they're going to be a whole lot more viable than they were in the beta. The next big thing with this update, and this is going to be a pretty game-changing thing, is they reduce the health regeneration time. So this means after you take damage and maybe you go and take cover, you do heal up a little bit faster now. Now this is something that a lot of people were suggesting, and I think it is a good change. I feel like the health regen, even though it was really no different than in the past as far as I could tell, it just didn't fit with the pace of this game. So I like that they reduced it so you heal up a little bit faster by default, and they also adjusted Infusion accordingly, because Infusion allows you to heal up faster, and it wouldn't make sense if it was like super, super fast if they've already decreased the base regen time. So therefore they just adjusted Infusion, so it still works a little bit, but it's probably not going to be like instant regeneration, because that would definitely be unfair. As for score streaks, they've definitely buffed up a lot of the score streaks, especially the higher ones. They buffed the AP3X, the RC8, the Thor, and Bombardment. They buffed all of those streaks, and I'm really liking the looks of that. I would have also liked to see a little bit of a buff to the Scorchers, but, I mean, they're not a super high streak, so they're probably fine as is, and maybe they'll still get a buff in the future. But overall, I am very happy that they started to buff some of these streaks because they didn't feel like they were worth the effort. Now, on top of all of this, they've done a lot of tweaking to the matchmaking, as well as the way that the dedicated servers are being handled. Apparently, there were a few bugs during the beta, and they worked those bugs out. Of course, this doesn't mean that there's going to be, like, zero lag from now on, but it seems like they definitely figured out what was wrong, and they've done a lot to improve that significantly. So those are all the main changes that they've made to the game so far. Like I said, there's a bunch of smaller things. If you guys are interested in seeing more, there's a bunch of little things that they also tweaked, and it, I feel like it's worth checking out, but I don't really just want to read this whole list off while going through the video. I wanted to cover the really important changes and generally what I think of those changes. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the changes that are made? Even some of the ones that I didn't mention, maybe, if you want to go in and check out that list, what do you think of the changes? Do you think for the most part it's all for the better, or do you think some of the changes are bad changes that they've made between now and the launch? I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys next time.